Hey y'all, it's Grizz here in Windmill Farms, North Mississippi. <clears throat> we had a heavy rain, big rainstorm come through last time. So y'all come along with me and we're going to go uh, try to see if we can find some mushrooms today. And whatever other mushroom Mother Nature has to offer, if I can learn to speak. So y'all come along with me, all right? All right, y'all. I know it's a little hard to see in the camera. I picked up a few back here, so I apologize. I've already got a few in my bag. Um... <clears throat> But here's one here, there's one, there's one, there's one. So we're going to pick a few of these mushrooms right through here. I think I see one right back there. Um, so we're going to pick these few mushrooms and uh, get them in the bag. Alrighty, y'all. We found some more. There's a little bitty one up there. I know you probably, it's kind of golden shining. It's a little bitty. We'll probably leave that one behind. But just, ooh, there's one underneath the leaves right there. Just remember, these are just the fruit and bodies. The mycem is in the ground. It's still good to leave one or two from time to time to let it refruit the area. Uh, respore the area um, but this is like picking apples off of a tree you as long as you're cutting it or pulling it down there low you're not actually hurting the mycem that's down in the leaf litter so be careful when you're pulling your mushrooms don't pull off the ground cut if you have to but you see what we got here i personally like to reach under and especially with chanterelles kind of give them a little pull you can't come right up. There's another one coming up right there, y'all. See? All right, y'all. We got a couple here. There's a couple of older ones right there. But I see another little bitty one right up there. Tell you, this time of year, with some of the leaf clutter we've got on the floor. Um, yeah, sometimes it's kind of hard. They kind of really blend in. But if you get just right, the light hits them and they like shine. I don't know how to explain it. Just like little nuggets. So let's keep on going. Y'all, I'd stop to look at these. I was over there I was coming down that ridge and these caught my attention and I couldn't tell if they were honeys or not, so I was like, well, let me come see if they're honey mushrooms. And I think they are, but they're a little old. See the brown around the edge of them? But when I come here, I turn, and notice there's some chanterelles behind me back here, down through here. So, I've always said, keep your eyes open. When you see one mushroom, and I've said this time and time again, and everybody laughs at me, mushrooms seem to grow in what I call a mushroom zone. If you find your mushrooms, like right now, I'm not all the way in the bottom, but I'm not all the way up at the top of the hill. I'm on the side of this hill. In my area, in my woods, I normally find my mushrooms in this zone along the side of a ridge. I normally have to go up and down the ridges until I find mushrooms, and it's any mushrooms. I've got them mushrooms there. I've got the chanterelles I see all around me right in here. Um, there is some white agrigolas over there. Um, I think there's some flavioles in here too but when you get in here look here i just looked at this got mushrooms here got a mushroom there got one right there 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 that's what i and all there's like that's like four different mushrooms right there that's the reason i said when you find your mushroom zone start walking in it walk don't walk downhill don't walk uphill walk you know, along the ridge or along the edge where you're at, and you'll start finding more and more. I'm looking around, I'm seeing a bunch of little bee small chanterelles. So let me get to them. We'll get B back in a minute. Even with the rain and the high humidity, I'm wet from top to bottom. Um, still not 
the production I'm looking for, but hey, mushrooms go in cycle like anything else. You know, one year you might have a real good crop of something, then the next year you won't. Um, we've been a couple of years now of not a good crop at all with the um, chanterelle. Not a bad crop, don't get me wrong, um, but like in the U.S. forestry land, they did a prescribed burn. That messed all that up. Um, I went back looking for morels because a lot of times morels would come up after a prescribed burn. I couldn't find them, not saying they're not there. So, um, but our wild chanterelles just aren't been, have not been doing very well. I don't know if we just don't have the right conditions, humidity, water, everything for them to fruit like they've done sometimes for us in the past. But we still got some chanterelles. We still got some food. So we're not going to gripe or complain about it at all. So y'all, we're going to tell y'all to have a blessed day. We know we have here. I got home safely and in one spot. And in this heat, that's something to say. But anyway, we're going to tell y'all, be safe.